Hello everyone, welcome to the preparation series of GATE Computer Science Bank IT Officer Exam and UGC NET Computer Science Exams. In today's lecture, we'll study two questions on operating system subject. Both of them appeared in GATE 2016 paper. So uh, starting with the first question, it asks you to consider a computer system with 40 bit virtual addressing and page size of 16 kilobytes. If the computer system has a one level page table per process and each page table entry requires 48 bits, then the size of the per process page table is dash mb. So again, both of them are numerical type questions. So you are not provided any option and you have to solve and and enter the answer. So since it is given in this question that it is a 40-bit virtual addressing system. So what does it mean? 40-bit addressing system. This only means that the total address space that would be present is of 2 raised to power 40 words. So with 40 different bits, how many different addresses or total address space, the size of the total address space that can be provided can be 2 raised to power 40. Okay, 2 raised to power 40 combinations are possible. 2 raised to power 40 words are possible, which is equivalent of 2 raised to power 40 bytes. Okay, now one very big mistake that students generally do in such questions and especially when converting from 40 bit uh, to total address space, here you do not have to see that since it is given it is a 40 bit system, so you write 2 raised to power 40 bits. No, for any address space, the basic unit or basic addressable unit is words and by default, this value, the value of words is taken to be as bytes. So no matter how it is given to you, even if it is written that it is a n bit system, you don't have to be confused between bits and bytes. The total size of address space is always in terms of words. And here by default, a word is taken as byte, a single byte unless specified otherwise. Okay. so. Total uh, address space. This is the address space that we get the size of the address space. Now what information is provided to us about the page size that the page size is of 16 kilobytes. So 16 kilobytes means 2 raised to power 4 into 2 raised to power 10 bytes. Okay, 1 kilobyte is equal to 2 raised to power 10 bytes, which is equal to 2 raised to power 14 bytes. So this is the size of each page. Okay. Each page is of 2 raised to power 14 bytes. Now the next thing that is provided in the question to us is that it is a one level page table per process and each page table requires 48 bits. So each page table entry requires 48 bits. So 48 bits you have to convert it into bytes because everything is in bytes. So 48 bits means 48 divided by 8 which is equal to 6 bytes. Alright, now putting all this information together, the total pages in a page table are given by the total amount of address space that we have divided by the size of each page. Okay, so if you have a large address space and each page takes a certain amount of space within that address space, you have to divide the total value of the address space total size per the size of each page. So this comes out to be 2 raised to power 40 divided by 2 raised to power 14. And this value would be 2 raised to power 26. So total number of pages in one page table is 2 raised to power 26. Now within each page table, we know that 
each entry requires six bytes. All right. So the total page table size is the number of entries, which is this multiplied by the amount or the size of each entry, which is this. So 2 raised to power 26 multiplied by 6 bytes and since we have to tell the answer in MBs, so converting it into MBs, 2 raised to power 20 is 1 MB, okay, multiplied by 2 raised to power 6 coming from this 26 multiplied by 6. So this total value when you calculate 2 raised to power 6 is 64, 64 into 6 would give you 384. So 384 MB would be the answer. So it is not at all a tricky question. The things to remember here are that uh, you don't have to confuse between bits and bytes. If it is given to you, it is a 40 bit addressing system. You have to consider the basic addressing unit as words and take the default value of one word equal to one byte. So what we have done is first we have calculated the size of the page table. Total size of the page table would be the total number of pages multiplied by the amount of space required by each page. So amount of space required by each page is six bytes. Total number of pages how we have calculated the total address space divided by the 16 KB page size that we are given. Okay, so uh, you can thoroughly go through the question and you will realize that it is not very confusing. You have to just put together all the information. So now coming to the second question, the second question says that consider a disk queue with requests for input output to blocks on cylinders in this particular order. Okay, the C look scheduling algorithm is used the head is initially cylind at cylinder 63 moving towards larger cylinder numbers on its servicing pass. The cylinders are numbered from 0 to 199 and total head movement in number of cylinders incurred while servicing these requests is. Okay, so initially we are given a certain set of requests, IO request, and we have to service these requests using CLOOK scheduling algorithm. So let's draw how the head movement will occur through all these requests. We have a request at 10. Since we have the timeline from 0 to 199, so we'll write down all the values. Then we have a request at 38, 47, 63 the head is currently placed here and it is moving towards 199 towards larger cylinder numbers okay then at 92 then at 121 191 and the cylinders are numbered from 0 to 199 so in case of CLOOK scheduling algorithm how does the head actually move it the head actually moves only in one direction if we actually see the uh, overall performance of the head okay so what do i mean by this when we see clook scheduling algorithm we start from one end the head moves towards the other end and services all the requests that come in its way it never reaches the final end okay so if it is going from zero the in, in increasing direction from 0 to 199 it will start from the least numbered request and proceed towards the largest numbered request and it will stop at the request having the largest number and in between it will service all the request then if a request comes which is smaller in number so what it will do it will again turn move to the starting end and again service all the request in that direction only okay so technically the head only moves in one direction so let's start with this question and start servicing all the requests one by one and find out what will be the total time incurred and the total head movement in servicing all these requests so we start from 63 next the cylinder moves towards the larger number larger numbered cylinder so it would move towards right so this 
line the that the cylinder is moving from 63 to larger cylinder numbers tells you the initial direction of the cylinder head movement and in what direction it will always function okay so it starts at 63 it moves towards right towards 87 because the first request that lies in its way to right is 87 it will service this request then after when it after servicing 87 it proceeds right goes to 92 then 121 and then 191 so it goes like this goes like this now it has more requests to service which are lower in number 10 11 38 and 47 so it will not turn back and service this from 47 to 38 to 11 to 10 no it will directly come back to the request having the smallest number service this request and then move in the same direction again it now services 11 then it services 38 and at the end it services 47 so this is how the head will move and what would be the total head movements or the amount that the head movement will take from 63 to 87 the total amount of head movement would be 87 minus 63 which is 24 okay then 92 minus 87 would come out to be 5 121 minus 92 is 29 then 191 minus 121 is 70 now when it goes from 191 to 10 the total head movement is 181 from 10 to 11 it is 1 from 11 to 38 it is 27 from 38 to 47 it is 9 so what is the total head movement total comes out to be the sum of all of them so 24 plus 5 plus 29 plus 70 plus 181 plus 1 plus 27 and plus 9 when you calculate the sum you'll get the result as 346 all right so uh, this is a basic question on the c look uh, algorithm for this scheduling that was not at all tricky and you just need to know the concept behind c look algorithm so that's all for today's lecture thank you for watching the video please subscribe to our channel of easy engineering classes for more lectures on our preparation series as well as other computer science related subjects you can also refer to the lectures that are present on operating system to get a idea of all the concepts that we share in these preparation videos thank you